I don't know about you, but in this day and age in 2024, it's very difficult to distinguish between what's real and what's fake news. The New Orleans Saints are 2-0. and They lead the NFL in scoring, and Derek Carr has the best passer rating in the league. Is this for real or is this fake news? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com for a limited time. You can get $100 off any all-access college and NFL football package for the uh, entire season. That's available for any handicapper of your choice using the promo code FBALL100. Of course, you could select any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com, but my personal preference would be if you go with this guy right here. As always, though, there's no obligation to purchase anything. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Now let's get into it. The Saints are a two-and-a-half-point favorite. The total sits at 49 and a half. And uh, New Orleans, they spanked the Cowboys in Dallas. That was a historic blowout loss for a Dallas team that hadn't lost at home for quite some time. Uh, Derek Carr in this new offense under uh, new offensive coordinator Gary Kubiak. Sorry, Clint Kubiak, his son. But he was with, uh, he was with uh, Mike Shanahan in San Francisco. No, that's Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco, his son. Anyways, the kids are getting it done. Uh, this offense looks great. Alvin Kamara is still a weapon, but with a healthy Jamal Williams sharing the uh, the duties in the backfield. And you've got a new wide receiver in town in New Orleans. Uh, Rashid Shahid, I believe is the name he's going by. He's lighting it up. And, you know, I know a lot of people think Derek Carr is a below average quarterback. A bum, some might say. But, yeah, I mean, you look at this guy's career. He's been steady as ever. He's He hasn't played for great teams, mind you. He's been with the Raiders and the Saints. And uh, the Saints offense had issues with injuries and perhaps the wrong coaching staff. And uh, they, they appear to have figured it out. I, I like Derek Carr. He's a guy that I root for. You know, he's thrown for 4,000 yards, what, four times in his career? And another, you know, three or four times he's come damn close. This guy, uh, he's he's steady. He's a veteran. He's in the prime of his career. He's got the weapons around him. Uh, the Saints, at one point in time, in this dome, were a formidable team. And I think they're catching the Philadelphia Eagles in a tough spot. I mean, the Eagles, they open the season in Brazil against the Packers. They get a win that, you know, they might may or may not have deserved. Then they lose an ugly game on Monday Night Football against the Falcons. Their defense is struggling. They have no pass rush. And uh, on a short week, they go into the Dome in uh, New Orleans and they face the league's hottest offense. I'm going to say this. I'm going to buy in. I'm going to buy into the hype. I'm going to go all in with Derek Carr and the Saints. We're going to take the Saints to cover, the Saints to win and cover. We're going to take the over 49 and a half. And we're going to take Derek Carr over one and a half touchdowns. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.